Good evening everyone, it's Christine here again. Thanks so much for stopping by. I thought I would jump on board the Thrifty Thursday train. Such, such a thing, the Thr Thrifty Thursday train. I might have just made something up there. Anyway, I have some goodies that I got on my second last day on holidays when I decided that I just had to make a trip to one of the op shops that I didn't even know existed in Myrtleford that's down the road from the other op shop. I thought there was a single op shop in Myrtleford, but turns out there's two. So I just thought I needed my full collection of op shop visits from my holiday in the region of Alpine, Victoria. So I headed there and I've got a wonderful stash of goodies. So I've got a fantastic handmade um, quilt here. Um, got hand stitching around um, the pieces and it's yeah it's got that really nice handy handmade feel to it and some really nice colors so it's a nice nice size it's probably I think a probably a cot cot size little quilt but I like the greens and the purples and the yellows so I thought that could be great to use in my stitchery um, or possibly to yep to use as a little little um, blanket for the lap in in winter it would be nice for that purpose as well or to possibly add some of my own pieces to it who knows so that was a nice find and then I got some lovely linens sorry it's got little I always have little bits of thread and fiber floating around um, so there was a set of these little applique rose linens beautiful linen one two three four five six six of them so lots to use um you can sort of fussy cut out or you can um do work on the the broader piece but yeah even the the unappliqued fabric is really lovely got a beautiful feel to it so that was great and then i got a little box set of um handkerchiefs so in pinks um, blue and purples so I think they've probably got a bit of synthetic um, in them but yeah they'll be nice to again potentially fussy cut or incorporate into backgrounds a nice little um, cotton cloth a lovely white um, quilted I guess it would probably be a, a pop mitt or a little little resting sort of yeah maybe one of those little um, mug mats I think they call them or something but I like how it's got the yeah the stitching stitching design and might be a nice backing for a piece got two little pop mitts with a cute little basket design so I thought they could come in handy for something for Easter got little butterflies and little toadstools on them so I thought they were cute and I got this piece with um, green stitching in the squares on it so I really like all the different different styles so that one is a cushion um, it's got a cushion backing on it so but it does have a little a little bit of wear wear on it so I won't feel too bad if I chop into it and use it in something actually as I was looking at it I was thinking about the prompts we've got for this next two weeks for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery which is some pots and I, they almost kind of reminded me of pots on a um, like on a wall so when you get one of those walls that has been decorated with pots and I was thinking potentially they could become my pots with then flowers um, a bit like a sort of I guess not a trellis but a yeah a wall what's it called a vertical garden a vertical garden that's what I'm after so who knows that will stay an option in fact I'll just leave that out like that got some nice little cut work embroidered pieces this one's got very intricate passion on it this one's um yeah a bit bit simpler but lovely then some applique I think these are machine done by the looks of it but again cute um they were a little set sorry I've ended up with some of Travis's um magic Labrador glitter because I happened to put these through the wash after I had um, washed his washed his blanket so got a bit of a Labrador glitter experience happening here 
and I'd actually just run out of the, the sticky stuff on my sticky sticky roll so I'll have to restock that. Um, got a placemat with quilting and this nice sort of um, autumnal design and pattern again it could be useful in a down the garden path piece possibly a field of field of flowers or something who knows um, I got these large pillowcases because I liked the broderie anglais on it I don't know if I say that the right way that's how I thought it might be said even just this little sort of um, scalloped edging is really cute now this next one reminded me of the lovely Corinne from To Be Loved Treasures by Corinne. Hopefully I got that right. Um, you'll see Corinne in my comments so you can track her down that way as well. So she had been after the, the are they called? Yeah, crinoline ladies. And so this apron um, is in gingham and it's got the, got the crinoline ladies on it. The, Hair ties have become a little bit bit worn, so I think those will be coming off the design, but who knows, maybe I'll incorporate a crinoline lady in my down the garden path as well. Or Corinne, if you're after any more crinoline ladies, shout out, I've got, got some to share here. And then we have a handmade patchwork, um, European sized cushion with beautiful blue patchworking on it which I think is yeah really really nice getting a bit lumpy underneath I might just move those over and then a bunch of I think they would have been napkins probably beautiful um cotton and just this nice blue design with these little green shapes they almost have a bit of a sort of an Asian um feel to them possibly a little bit sort of Japanesey I'm not sure not sure what it's evoking for me, but yeah, really like those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six again. I guess that's the typical number when you get the sort of, yeah, the napkins for a table of six. And then a beautiful piece of, um, is this called lace work as well? I'm not actually sure what this is called. So if someone knows what this particular style um, is called, let me know. Sort of, it's like a, a mesh and netting with the, with the stitching on it so that's an interesting piece and then um, this one's just like an Adair's kids pillow but I just love the little um, design of the fabric with little birds and flowers a bit of fun and I thought that could be nice for the little project I'm thinking about for Easter of making some little mini snippet rolls for the table with people's names on it um, for my nephews and um, niece or particularly my niece probably for this one um, yeah I thought that could be really cute and then another pillowcase again just with a beautiful floral pattern on it and then I got three yeah three of these vintage patterned um, pillowcases so each of them's got a different color um, girl on it but with a holding up a little bunny with a beautiful border and a little basket of flower and mushrooms cute little dog and then more bunnies and mushrooms and a nice border so I got three of those that one's the blue toned one and then there's an orange toned one and then there is a, what colour is this one? Oh, another orange. Are they the same? Possibly they are the same. Yep, I think they're the same. So yeah, lovely vintage, vintage design to those. So that's them. And then coming into Easter, the perfect find. Um, a final style pillowcase with bunnies and flowers on it. So that's a bit bit cute okay getting a bit too much probably too close to the camera at least it gets a bit a bit closer and then I got some this one's a European sized pillowcase and it's got a lovely almost like patchwork but it's not done in patchwork it's a single piece of fabric um, and then two cushion sized um, covers in the same same design so that's the linen pieces i also picked up for two dollars fifty this long stitch classic so it's 
really sweet design and I do think that could be really lovely for the Roxy Journal of Citri because I haven't incorporated a cottage yet. So I think that could be, could be super. I mean, potentially, I don't know how long it takes to do one of these, but I could even do it and put my little, my pots of flowers along where the fence is. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I think there's a lot a lot involved in doing one of these, just looking at the, all the different um, all the different colours. But the great thing is, even if I decided not to actually use the pattern, I've got such a wealth of different coloured um, wools in the in the mix with the colour sorter. So that's helpful that they're actually hopefully store sorted and hopefully they're mostly mostly still there. But I do have some others from my partner's mum that she'd given me as well. So. Um, but yeah, I really liked like the design. I'd actually been um, yeah thinking about something like this before the entire project had started. Um, so that's that's really cute. And two dollars fifty, you can't go past that. You just wouldn't even be able to buy the wolves for that, let alone actually then having the um, the design as well. And so with the design, someone has started just the greens. I think. So it's quite sizable. It's actually probably too big for my, I'd only be able to have um, probably a section of it, I think, to fit in with my journal of stitchery. Let's just have a look how that compares. Yeah, I'd end up probably only having that section. So I think if I do it and it's planned for this project, then I won't obviously have to do the full piece, but it is rather nice as a, as a round piece. I don't know. Don't know if I'd put this up on my wall as it stands, but I might. Or it might be better to incorporate it into my journal of stitchery. Decisions, decisions. But I had to save it from the op shop. Just pop that there. I also got my mum. Mum loves puzzles. So I got mum um, a puzzle at the op shop. This is Raffles Singapore. And then what else did I get? I got some threads. Um, I was hoping this might be a little cloth measuring tape, but no, it's actually a, um, a slightly plasticized one. But sometimes I like to incorporate measuring tapes into my stitchery. Got some silver and gold beads, thought they could be fun for Christmas projects. Not that I need more buttons, I have so many buttons, but I just quite liked the green ones, thought they could come in handy in the journal of stitchery project. Um, I didn't have any blue beads like this, so I got that myself a broken vintage pearl oops one just went rolling away down down the thing I'd better try and get it back into a, a packet somewhere maybe I'll put it into this little bag the measuring tape doesn't need a bag but my escaping necklace broken necklace does so even its cute little clasp that's quite a heavy clasp on it and then the goldy beads which I thought could be handy handy for something Always good to have repurposed broken jewellery beads. I know a lot of you, when you go to the, the thrift store, you have a look at the broken jewellery section for things that you might be able to repurpose into your craft. What else do we have? We have some seed beads. I might have a similar colour to that, but again, I just um, got them. And with that little measuring tape, there was a little um, sewing kit not that I needed that but as I say I mainly got it for the the measuring tape but they're always handy when you when you travel if you don't have your entire craft kit with you like I had um, and then I actually popped back in while I was um, at the other Myrtleford op shop to the the Myrtleford op shop where I got the original vintage antique um, beading and flowers and they still had some others at the very bottom of the box which I obviously hadn't, hadn't seen on the first visit and so let's have a look what's in here so these are and one of um, I think it was Elizabeth I think you suggested that the other flowers were a yeah a velvet a velvet flower because I think it was your mum had something similar and so yeah I think you're absolutely absolutely right with that so again these need a bit of bit of TLC and then there's some sweet little sequin flowers as well who knows these might even end up featuring in my flower pots um, for this 
next two weeks of um, stitching for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So we'll keep those in visual range so I don't forget about them. Try not to squish them, they've been squished enough. What else have we got in my bag of tricks? I've um, got some little feather beads of two different sizes and then there were just some um, assorted brooch backs in the bag as well. So little feather, I guess, pendants or hanging bits. This one is some lovely variegated um, merino eight ply base in colour Davy Jones, meant to remind of the sea. Um, so Boucle, is it called Boucle? Yep, I think B-O-U-C-L-E, Boucle, 100% merino. So that's lovely. And then got some other interesting textiles, or they're meant to be, I guess, used for, for knitting. You can make one of those bobbly, bobbly scarves. But again, I, all of this is always really interesting because you can sort of put it in your stitcher in a variety of ways. With this, you can actually, yeah, really, really pull it and create create textures again could possibly become some of my some of my pots for the Roxy Journal of Stitchery so that's great to just sort of buy those random either part um, part balls of wool or um, these ones don't look like they've actually been yeah, used and again this one's got greys sort of melding into blacks but it can create some really nice texture and there's nothing stopping you as well you can paint these or dye these um, to be other colours as well but yeah can just give some really fabulous fabulous texture and that my friends is um, that for the the haul from the Myrtleford op shop visit um, and at that point as I looked at all my bags of goodies from my holiday I decided I probably really shouldn't be let loose in any more op shops so Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I do hope you are all doing well. I hope you're being kind to yourselves. Um, I do hope you're getting some time to enjoy those creative pursuits. And I hope, yeah, you might've had some good finds yourself in some op shops. And if you've got some videos um, of your finds or of your creative projects, um, pop a link in the, the comments and I'd love to check them out. So take care, dear friends, and speak to you soon. Bye, everyone.